Have you ever felt confused by antithetic scientific information on aging? For example, some signs suggest that cutting your calories leads to a longer life, while other signs says to pack on muscle, which requires you to eat more. Literally the exact opposite advice of the same outcome. How can that be? Well, that's because a lot of people are confused about aging. Now, I don't want to necessarily blame anyone here, but no one has outlined three principles that will offer clarity on how to think about aging like a scientist does. Most people, when they consider aging, they think about it from a maximum lifespan point of view. How can I live the longest possible? That is one principle of aging, looking at the maximum lifespan. And scientists do these experiments all the time, specifically on mice. For example, I covered an influential study on taurine supplementation, how it increased maximum lifespan by over 10%. On the other hand, however, there is another principle, health span, that is often discussed without ever realizing it. Health span isn't about the length of time that you're alive, but rather the quality of life while you are alive. Now, here's a little secret. The first principle and the second principle clash a lot, meaning you can't have both, but people think that they can have both. Remember how I mentioned cutting calories seems to extend life? Well, the science of that, which I'll have an in-depth video on that, so stay tuned for that, is based generally, although not always, on maximum lifespan. So the more calories that you cut, the longer you live. That's the idea, and is based on the SOMA theory of aging. I'll cover that in an upcoming video, though. But if you cut your calories drastically in perpetuity, your body suffers. You run the risk of being more frail, for example. So yes, you might live longer, but your health span will suffer because the quality of life decreases. On the other hand, consuming enough to build muscle and become strong requires, relatively speaking, a large amount of food consumption, caloric consumption to achieve a long lasting functionality of the body, which would then reduce maximum lifespan. These are just a few examples, but there are others like protein consumption, uh, IGF-1 level manipulation, antioxidants, and more. So is that it? Are we doomed to choose between the two? Nay, my friend, enter the third principle. By the way, I'm fully aware that there's likely some 80-year-old shaking their head at me thinking, what do you know about aging? And that's all well and good. I'm not talking from centuries experience. Uh, I'm talking from scientific data. Welcome to Physionic. So the third principle, mean lifespan. And I'm not talking about the bully of the two lifespans. I'm talking about average lifespan. Then Nick, why not just say average lifespan? To which I would reply, because it doesn't make for a very good joke, ma'am or sir, and that won't do at all. Anyway, it's similar to maximum lifespan, but it's unique in that it actually plays nice with health span. These two can coexist, and not only that, they are foundational to one another. Without excellent health span, the odds of improving one's average, mean, lifespan is weak. Why? Because average lifespan is taking your body from a place of incomplete health, let's say slightly overweight, sedentary, high insulin, etc., to complete health, which is the reversal of all the things that I just listed, plus more, which increases its durability and lowers the risk of premature death, thereby pushing it beyond the previously destined path. But average lifespan has a limit. It isn't optimal like maximum lifespan in terms of the number of years, but it is optimal for extending your lifespan maximally while still maintaining health span. This is critical. So we should reconsider aging and consider that we can't have everything, but we can have a lot. Either you aim for maximum lifespan, which still includes some of the same habits while keeping your body weight in check, keeping your blood sugar lower, keeping your lipoproteins low and so on, but it takes things a step further by going into the extremes with some of the habits like protein and calorie restriction and so on. 
And on the other hand, you can choose to increase your lifespan and health span by focusing on functionality of your body, building it up while maintaining normal, healthy levels of biomarkers as well. That's what the current scientific evidence shows. The choice is yours, but you have to make a choice. You can't have it all, at least yet. But you know, I didn't cite much research here and you want cold, hard scientific facts, not the opinions of some 900 year old fool like me. I know I don't look it, but I can tell you that the next video improves on all the principles that I mentioned here. I think you'll gain at least 150 years on your life. No doubt about it.